Hello, hello. Welcome back to part two of this awesome live stream. Well, part two, I don't know. Just had some food, had some cake, watched some television, and now we're ready to fight some aliens again. Load up the game. We have game number three. That's already already further hello, along hello. than my first Welcome two games, to which were part viewable two on the YouTube stream. This awesome live oh, stream. Well, part I'm two. I'm having a sound on on my playback. Had some food, so had some cake, watched some television. Conducive to any useful stuff. Anyway, these are ruined planets, uh, ruined Earths, and here we are going to find a UFO, and we're bringing two Mac Troopers, heroes that they are. We have Sniper, Rule Grisewolf, Awesome Sniper, Highest Ranking Soldier in the Squad. We have Thomas Thompson, Disembodied Mechanized Warrior. And we have, yours truly, also Lorenzo, Disembodied Mechanized Warrior. So, let's have a look at the map. What do we have? We have the boundary here on this side, then Fog of War. We have the other boundary here next to the Sky Ranger, and Fog of War this way. And this is where the burning wreckage starts, so I think we'll have the UFO here. Now, as always, these MEC troopers, they don't take cover, so we can just walk them forwards, and the infantry can follow on foot and take cover. Um, Affirmative. Yeah. We have flamethrowers, we have, of course, uh, minigun fire, and we have collateral damage, something that deals guaranteed damage and destroys cover, so that's also useful. So let's have a look at moving them forward. And it does look indeed, it does indeed look like here the UFO will be here. And I'm in, I'm, I'm in doubt how much to like these mech troopers because one, it's really nice not to have to bother with the cover and they will have the hit points, but if they get caught in any sustained kind of crossfire, they will surely die. Because, you know, um, they have a lot of hit points, but it's still only one or two critical hits and they're gone. I'm going to put the sniper here for now. This is, of course, a, squ a squad side sniper. We can't leave her behind if there's tentacle guys, though, because they can sneak around in cloak mode and then, well, cause all sorts of trouble. For now, though, it's going to be pistol overwatch time and our support girl is going to come along here to the half cover, but we'll hunker down there. Okay for a full cover bonus and the rest will overwatch with some miniguns. I'm feeling a lot more formidable with these cybernetic soldiers in my midst. So let's see what's going to happen. Right, we have the meld over here. Oh, we can even see that. We can proceed in that direction just to see if we could if we could get it. Is there any sort of useful cover here? Yeah, if we move here, we can hunker. We can the support girl can hunker down around here again. Let's try that. So, let me see troops moving up. We have a visual on some meld all the way over here. Six turns from now, no rush for that. With this one, there is no official visual of that yet. So, MECs abreast. Still no. Enemy contact though, that's a little bit scary. Yeah, I'll have support here. Anchor down. Overwatches on them and the sniper overwatch for the sniper obviously. Are we on we could we could move over here for some more high ground. Um, but let's do that next turn because if there's aliens here she will be screwed. A little bit of high ground will be good for sniping, especially with the new corporal rank high ground bonus. Right, so there's nothing like that. I'm going to dash over here. I mean, after one move we can't do anything anyway, and if something happens here I'm going to do trust the MECs to take care of that. I do recognize that having these MEC troopers has made me a lot more reckless, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Well, actually, I'm sure it's not a good thing. I'm going to proceed this way, swing around, grab the meld, and then approach the UFO from there. I'm on the move. So our two organics get to take cover here, and then we can just slowly but surely proceed with the MECs. Ah, oh, that's just outside the cover field. That's too bad. 
This field grants plus 10 defense for um, allies that are in it. Of course, it doesn't work for fellow MECs because, you know, they don't take cover. So there's that. Right, it's being a qu it's it's a quiet night so far. There is no alien activity yet. We're going to move our support girl okay. over here. Of course, if some aliens do spawn over here, they will be in trouble. Well, we're not going to get that one turn meld, but we might get this one here, and then we can move the support here. Sniper out behind the sniper behind the tree here. That seems like a good move. And then, yeah, so let's do that. Let's see if we can have our MEC stand here and be safe. And our other MEC can... So the sniper is going to be next to the tree. Support will head to, head to this tree. And I'll have the MECs here to avoid triggering anything on this turn. Yeah, let's actually move on this turn. I don't think we will ha we have everyone else on Overwatch this turn. So, good time for the sniper to move. Overwatch with the pistol. You get to Overwatch from here, and then next turn can move behind the tree. And of course the two MECs also are on Overwatch. I think I heard something. Aliens right there. Support is going to grab is going to grab the melt. Aye, aye, Commander. In hand, Commander. So that's been collected. Awesome. We don't have so much map this way. I have a feeling there will be some aliens coming from somewhere outside the UFO, but we shall see about that. We shall first proceed. This is a good spot for this is a good spot for the support woman. So we can move out with the MECs just a slight bit, not too far. Not get crazy. On my way. Stay careful. Because even though we have mechanized cyber warriors, we can still die. Switch back to the sniper rifle for some overwatching. And we do need to train up some rookies as well, but I'm gonna wait for the officer training school with that. And we can have four good guys and one or two rookies along to train. Yeah. I am getting proper scared. Yeah, I'm gonna take the support girl over here. Anchor down. And she can then next turn get over to the side here and open the door. Their MECs are then in perfect position to lay down some devastating fire inside that UFO if we need it. Sniper as well, of course. Yeah, it seems as though the contacts are coming from inside the UFO. Now we do lack some explosive ordnance, obviously, because we don't have any rocket launchers along. Oh, we can't open the open the thing from here. Well, that's a disappointment. That will mean it's another turn of waiting. We have to get across. Well, not get across, but we have to well inch one step closer to the the shiny UFO door. And I've not encountered any aliens yet on this map, so that's causing huge concerns for me. Why can't we open this? Go on. Do we just have to move inside then? Well, if that's the case, then it's going to take another turn because I, I'm not going to, to walk inside on a dash. There's something out there. Oh, there we have some floaters. Where are they? How can I see them? Yes, firing. It might be a problem to have the MECs on Overwatch because they sh they only have two shots in their thing. Oh, look at that! We have we have some of the tentacle guys, and yeah, we did kind of 
expend. Oh shit, they're in stealth mode. And I'm not sure if they're now here in stealth mode, so, so a flamethrower would work. Well, we can stick together with the team. Or we can advance slowly. Let's see about advancing to the corner with the... Can overwatch with that. Where did they all go? So, that is a problem. We have a flamethrower guy here. We can stand with him just on this corner. Let's do that. Because these tentacle monsters, they're going to come through this doorway and then we just need to mow them down. However, if I put the MECs on Overwatch here, they will do their reaction shots and then they will be out of bullets. I'm going to trust that our sniper from here will have a line of fire if they come through there. So let's Overwatch. We have four Overwatchers. There is at least two floaters and two tentacle monsters. Hopefully we have the firepower to take care of them. Yes, there is the, the, the first tentacle monster. Okay, sniper goes first. No, sniper. He's fire. Shit, that, mi that wasted three overwatches on one alien. That's less than optimal. But at least the alien is down. That does help. That does help. Unfortunately though, our MECs will now be out of... Oh no, they're not out. Overwatching takes less ammo apparently. So, and you, still we're gonna do a reload. We can walk in here and do a reload from... So now the distortion field is helping her, that's good. Okay, she can do more overwatch. And you can do a reload. with that remainder and overwatch with the sniper I'm going to trust the aliens to just keep coming and hopefully we can just mow them down as they come, ar come across the corner well nothing happened this turn which is just as well because that means we get another turn to reload the minigun while the rest stays in overwatch not the most exciting and quick advancement to be sure but I invite them to come through. Oh no, not again. No way. No shit. This happened before. I could have seen that coming, maybe. Right, so we are now in retreat. We are now in retreat. Can we shoot that from here? We cannot really. We shall. We shall move over here and shoot it off. So that's 54%. Okay, fire. Boom. Got it. Well, you are now compromised. That's two hit points off, the, off you. That's not great. Overwatch until Buddy gets back. Damn it, I hate those stranglers. Still, that's two down. Ooh, the Thin Men arrive. Four Thin Men. This is prime flamethrower bait. Come on, snipe one of these Thin Men. Boom. Yes, this is not great. Not great shooting. I hope I get a turn before the Thin Men all get to unload. Yes, I do. Oh, wonderful. Does the flamethrower work after moving? That is the question. Does this work? I'm going to try and move around and do more flamethrower damage. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to shoot and we will take some punishment, but... Oh shit, they have reaction shots. 
That's six damage on the on the MEC. That's a problem. That's that's a lot of damage. See, they are mortal, but we can flamethrower. Yes. Go. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> that's six thin men down. And can the can you do a um, ooh? Can we? Damn it! We can either shoot for seventy percent on the floater. That's a good, good to hit ratio. But we can also heal. We are going to heal because you are going to take more fire. However, we can shoot some mini gunning at the floaters. Oh, we cannot. In fact, oh, I thought that would be that would be a shot. But apparently, it's not. Okay, so we will have Overwatch from me, from myself. Sniper rifle will also be on Overwatch, and hopefully, we will score some kills without incurring too many hits. Right. Okay. Blast it. No, that missed. Yeah, of course that hits it. Mm, that means that maybe we're going to have to retreat this mech. Because... Did that miss? No! 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 Damn it! No! Okay, we have three turns then. We can't stabilize from here. Oh god. Okay, move in. Computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Yes, we need this stuff, but we also need our guys alive. 35%, we're gonna have to go for it. Kill it. Oh, that missed. This is the problem with these MEC assault troops. They can't take any sort of cover. And this can't take any sort of shot because we have to reload it. Oh my god. But next turn we get to... Oh shit. Next turn we get to... Oh it missed! Oh my god! We get to smash it with... We get to smash it. And I'm just sincerely hoping that this will be the last one. We get to do a kinetic strike. Does 12 damage to enemies and can destroy cover. No, I don't want to kill that reactor. I just want to destroy the seek the the floater. Come on. Okay. 94% to hit. I mean that will kill it. We're going to save the reactor for now. Don't bleed out, come on, you're a cyborg! This is a dangerous position to be in. But maybe we can shoot the floater from there. Oh, it's over there! Oh my god, it was hidden in the corner, no! Oh sh... Are you kidding me? This is so lucky. Because now we've got a great shot. Kill it. Promotion on Donaldson. One more turn until he bleeds out. I'm not sure we're going to make it. I hope we can salvage the suit, though. We're going to have to barge in here. Let's do just that. If we kill him this shot, we might be able to make the extraction, if that's also the last alien. Come on. Come on. 26%? Are you shitting me? From here, will we be able to shoot it? I think so. So... No, that's not a shot. Damn this. 
Are we gonna gamble on 26? Well, I think so. Next turn we can move up and next turn we can move up and just burst burst it with the kinetic strike. 26% and our other mag lives. Come on, kill it. No, that doesn't work. We might get slaughtered now. Oh, can we maneuver somewhere that we might pistol shoot that? Pipe it through the doors? Doesn't work, I'm afraid. Reload the sniper. Damn it. That's a huge problem. Smoke grenade, just to make sure we sort of live. Uh, if we're gonna miss it by one turn, I'm gonna be pissed. That's five damage, that's... Ah, oh, god damn it. I hope we can salvage the mech suit. That would, that would help a little bit. Right, so we're gonna stomp kick this guy. Go. Boom, that's 12 awesome damage. Oh no, we missed it by one, by one turn. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That was Rookie Thompson. Shit. But we have the one MEC, which is me now. That's at least something. They are not invulnerable. They don't make you invulnerable. In fact, it just takes two hits to kill them. He did wipe the floor with those thin men and his flamethrower, though. That was great. That was great. These have... Oh, we've got... We've got some promotions though. We've got Corporal, Corporal, and Sergeant. That is good. That is definitely good. And we have the Defender's Medal. And I think we're gonna have to award that to Grise Wolf and make him not panic anymore. Let's have a look at that first. Never panic. Award Medal because, man, he panicked a bunch. That's not good. All oh, right, hey guys, welcome back in chat. We are playing XCOM Enemy Within on classic Iron Man mode. We are grieving at the moment because of our cyborg casualty who did awesomely just after. It awesomely killed some Thin Man just before being shot down by floaters. On the whole, I think we're still good to go. Let's see, do we still have... Oh, we still, we, we, we retained the suit. It just takes some credits to fix it. Oh, wonderful. Let's let's fix that. There. Not now, though. Because first we need another rookie to... Uh, anyway, I figured out, Al, how to um, archive the videos and post them to YouTube, which I will do. So if you want desperately want to see me losing the mech, you can do so. I'm currently on... The 23rd minute of this stream, and that will mean that, well, roughly corresponding amount of minutes will pass in the YouTube archive before that happens. Fortunately, the suits are saved though, so let's see. We have this, we can't do. We have a damaged flight computer that's courtesy of the kinetic punch, I think. We have satellites coming online over Egypt soon, which we need. We have research guys that are researching carapace armor for our organic soldiers. Oh yeah, and we got lots of promotions on the soldiers. That was what I was on. And we still are. We only have these four guys, so we need to train up some rookies. And we, now that we have a sergeant, which is a sniper, now we have a sergeant, we can start to look at building the officer training school. A lieutenant even, oh my god. Allows the sniper to fire a shot that causes the target's main weapon to malfunction. The target may use reload to fix the weapon. The shot cannot inflict a critical hit to turn cooldown. Or battle scanner. Scanning device that when thrown creates a new source of vision for two turns. Only be used two times per battle. I'm going to go for the disabling shot. If we get some massive enemies with big guns, then we can disable it. Sounds like a good idea. 
Something that will probably come in handy only later, because for now the best recourse is still to kill it, rather than disable its weapon. But we are going to be facing bigger enemies. Got some mech trooper upgrades here. Advanced fire control. Shots from Overwatch no longer suffer any aim penalties. The problem here is that oh, my aim is so shit. Or we have automated threat assessment. Confers 15 defense when in Overwatch. I'm gonna go with the no aim penalty, because otherwise he's never gonna hit something. Sprint, another three tiles. Covering fire, no, that's gonna be sprint. More maneuverability, that's always good. Awesome. And can we build the officer training facility? No, we needed the power. All right, I forgot about that. We need 200 credits and we're not going to buy anything before we get that for the thermo generator. Right, mission control. Commander, we're receiving a Go to the situation room. Oh god, what? Okay, this mission is my nemesis. So far, I've always lost the game on this mission. I didn't have mech troopers though, although the ones I have now are melee. I do have an awesome sniper with me. I have... Squaddy Murray on Assault. Oh! Oh! I forgot she existed. Awesome. I could have made a mech trooper out of her. For now, we're going to go with Assault and the mobility that brings with Run and Gun. That is worth something in and of itself. We have our, med our Medic. We have the Sniper who is amazing. He's going to climb up on the roof somewhere really close to the Sky Ranger because definitely don't want to lose the Sniper. And we have our Mech Trooper that will be uh, bringing up the front. Really. Oh god, I hope this works out. Let's launch the mission. Yeah, I hate this mission too, it's terrible. There's just so many thin men. But, on the last mission, if you missed the death of the MEC troop, you also missed that. He flamethrowered three thin men at once. So, I think the thin men are a little bit more afraid than they are usually. Boom, boom, boom. Cybernetic troop combat's incoming. Oh. Right, right, right. Where will I put the sniper? Only here on this corner of the roof. Alien activity in the area. This mission is so freaking mean. I'm gonna swing around this way. New objective received. Now I'm gonna swing around here through the broken building. This main room has always been the death of me so far. Okay. Assault can lead the way by going here. Mech Trooper me can proceed over here. Thin men are so accurate though, I hope they don't just gun me down. I think I'm gonna well having the sniper having having the sniper here is really bad. Because going to fire will be so low. And I will need my sniping prowess. I might just leave her here. Which is shit cover, but it will be far away from anything. And she might not get fire prioritized. And I know by now that the civilian is on this side. We will be coming back through here. And I think this angle will allow her to fire at things on the roof. I'm gonna try that. Scanning. And you get to go. Shall attempt the Overwatch. I'm not at all confident. Overwatch advanced fire control. That's good. I'm not at all so very confident about the results of this mission just because there's so many enemies. There's like 20 thin men in the chat. And that's not very nice. Not very nice at all. 
So that's On my way. Bridget Murray. She can still escape anything using running gun. We're gonna see if there's anything behind this door here inside. Today there is not. We'll have the fire control mech go up here. And overwatch that. I wonder where they will be this turn, this time around. Sniper overwatch. I don't think we get the tentacle the tentacle monsters. So I think the sniper will be safe alone there. And my sniper is oh so awesome. So we shall proceed. Our assault woman lead the charge valiantly. No, today the mech trooper will lead the charge valiantly. We shall move. Here, keep the option of retreat open. Right, there they all are. We have three of them in sight. And we might have to exercise the retreat option of this guy, because otherwise it's just going to be nasty. But we can shoot something with our sniper. Critical hits are not required on these guys, so we can just have a regular shot. Fire, it's 49%, that's not great, but let's take it and hope we can take down one. Boom, that's one down. 19 or so to go. And perhaps we can move here, open the door and do some flanking damage. Not flanking. But 63% is still nothing to scoff at. Let's fire. Unfortunately, that did miss. Okay, MEC, 30%. That's not good. Not good at all. Also, I want to save the ammo we have here for an eventual collateral damage barrage so that we then can snipe something with good effect. Even visible to the sniper. Again, running again. Oh, we still have a full assault turn to go. So, assault can move here. I'm gonna use that running gun to take a shot from this position. 65% as well. Take it and kill it. Oh, it's only two damage, damn it. Not good enough. 30% and 38%. That is not impressive at all. We can move him up here. Then in order to shoot him, they would have to move... Oh no, they can just move like here. That's not good. We could have, them have him move here. That will be somewhat safe. Not sure if they can then see him. They can probably see him. I'm afraid to right okay I see Al Brista telling me to increase microphone volume I'll just have a quick look at that I think I can do that midstream no problem although yeah it's at max what I will do is lower the game volume and then you can turn up your own volume and then that should edit that should work things out so we can Scroll this down a bit. Actually, I'm going to increase this so that in cutscenes things will be legible. This will be down low. Music, we don't need any music. Get a music. And that way, I hope you can tweak it yourself. I'm afraid if I leave him out here, these two guys will score critical hits and just murder him straight up. So I'm going to. Yeah, if I move him inside and they go on overwatch, he will be useless. If I move him over here, he can stomp one of them next turn, which is awesome if that happens. However, if I move him over here, like away a bit, maybe they will be drawn out and can be snipered. However, I think they can shoot that far. No, I don't think they can shoot that far. I'm going to try the drawing away tactic. 
Yeah, I, re I, I realize the game volume will be alright, but I can't increase the microphone anymore, so all I can do is make the game volume lower, and then when you turn up your volume, maybe it will be fixed. That was what, that's what I was thinking anyway. Um, oh, where'd it go with this guy? Where'd he go with this guy? I'm gonna take him over here, just hide. Well, that's not the point of these mechanized warriors. They need to be out there soaking up the damage. Although this mission will take a long time still. Yeah, you're going. You're going in cover, man. You're going. You're going away. Sorry. Okay then. Move, move, move. Don't shoot. Oh. These guys are far too accurate. That is just brutal. That is just brutal. But we can probably kinetic pulverize one of them. That fortunately missed. We can probably snipe that. So screw you. Eat sniper. Dead and, gone. and we're going to kinetic pulverize. Oh, we can't. Shit. In that case, we're going to collateral damage you. And then you can shoot to kill. Unless... 56? No, that's not good enough. Collateral damage. Boom. Kill everything. Now you can shoot to kill. Oh, 79%? That's not convincing enough. Damn it. But it's enough for this. Boom. Squatty Murray will be missed. But we're still there mopping up the pieces. Let's reload the sniper now. We, can do it. we have to do a, a reloading turn. Ready to engage. Reload. That collateral damage is really powerful if you've got supporting troops to take advantage of it. Right. Do we go on? We have three guys. There are three pro guys. Do we go on with the mission? Do we go on? I mean, the civilian is over here, so if there's enemies over here, our sniper can't help us. As soon as we get into this corridor, everything that gets there will be sniped. We're gonna try. We're gonna keep... We're gonna try and do this. We still have a medkit. We still have three awesome guys with amazing track records. And if we die, we die fighting. Right, more thin man. Can we snipe? No. Can we do anything? She won't be able to do anything because there is a whole ATV. Then again, I don't think the thin man can do anything. So let's let's overwatch and hope he makes a mistake. That's all we can hope for, really. It's just one thin man. What can he do? I mean, if he hits for 9 damage on this guy, he's almost dead. Alright, alright. Eat lead. Well, that didn't work out so well. Can we do any more overwatches? Look out! 6 damage. That hurts, but doesn't necessarily kill. Well, it didn't kill, but we, we might be able to recover from it. <laughs> more thin man, yep, that will happen more and more. Can I pulver smash? Can I pulver smash from here? I have a feeling this sniper is going to be somewhat impotent through this. Yeah, anything behind this blockade won't be sniped so easily. Do we need to relocate our our favorite sniper? There will be thin men landing on the roofs and on these ATVs. There will be thin men landing on this roof and here. We need to heal. Okay, the, the volume is screwed up. Okay, I will increase that. Master volume goes back here. Sound effects also. Music and so. Let's see how let's see how that is. 
<laughs> no worries, Al. I mean, that's it's not my first time streaming, but it's one of the first, so feedback on how the settings are doing and stuff is more than welcome. So, let's see about flanking this mother. Go over here. Moving to position. 66% to hit. Can we then now try a sniper shot with the squad side? No, there's just no line of sight. Could move up here, but I don't see how that is going to help anything. Or I could... I could hide here, but I think one of the Thin Men will land on top of that. Also, if things go really south, I want to be able to flee with the sniper. I'm that, just that, that much of a pussy. Oh. Let's kill the Thin Men, right? Well done. Fucking A, well done. Right, let's reload that. Oh no, we need to get closer to... to our medic, because we need to get medic'd up. So I can reload now. And we shall overwatch covering the rear. So if this mission completely fails, this completely falls through. This completely falls through. Then we have one awesome sniper. Lots and lots of rookies. That shall be interesting in and of its own right. Okay. Oh cool, what do you what do you usually stream, Al? Might have to tune in and watch that. Quit your bitching. Right, so that's four hit points on myself. And let's overwatch from here and then next turn we shall advance a little bit for scanning. I'm afraid that this sniper decision might not be the best because these two Whilst they're versatile, they, they lack long range reliable damage. Heading to that location. We might have to, to sneak past these trucks a lot. Sensors still indicate life there we have the, the civilian. We have a new objective. Girl Space Program Live! Awesome! Great choice. It's what I do as well. Although. For now, I'm enjoying the XCOM thing. Watch. All the way over here, another Overwatch goes down. 8.30 GMT every Friday. See, that's... I'm in GMT plus one, so that's... Cool. Although, I have no idea what I'm doing Fridays. My too much of an... Up Is it on Twitch? What's your... Oh, I was just gonna ask that. El Bristol. Throw in a subscription in just a bit. Yeah, you can do all this as well. <laughs> Obviously. Oh yeah, we're on Twitch now. <laughs> Roger, I've got my eyes on. Go. Ink. Moving to position. There will be more Thin Men here as well. Stand here, maybe then I will be in a position to shoot them. Um, I don't think I will have time to catch up on anything, but you know, if there's ever an hour to kill, it is nice to kill it with Herbal Speech Program. Come on, civilian. Looks like there's still someone alive over there. If we can bring them in for questioning, maybe we can figure out what happened. Yes, here. yes. Bring it in for questioning and shall then proceed to not die, hope. Headed there now. Let's run there and then we can take cover when behind the building. Oh there's the thin man. That's a terrible position. But maybe we can flee. It looks like he's the only witness to survive this fight. I mean, he and will know he was one of the aggressors. Yes. We need to bring him in. Whether he likes it or we not. We are going to hug the side Objective of the level. 
and move past this right area. The Thin Man might chase us. Can we shoot at it? 53%. That's not, conf not, conf that's not a good enough shot. This can run here. That's sort of safe. So civilian run. Run for your dear life. Run, run, run. Need to get back into the field of stuff that is being covered by the sniper rifle. This area would be sort of safe, but not really. Can we also make it back here? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Aye, aye. I'm not sure this is smart, leaving the alien alive like that. But I don't want to get into a I don't want to get into a long range firefight. I will probably lose that. Okay, I will put myself as long range fire bait. Like over here. Intentionally not close to not close to any potential exploding vehicles, and I will put that on overwatch. To be sure, advanced fire control. And sniper overwatch as well. Fingers crossed, we're running back home. Right, shoot it, kill it. No misses allowed. That was a definite miss. No. Six damage. We can't. We cannot sustain more of this. An Overwatch. That we should be able to snipe that. Eighty-nine percent. I'm going to. I'm going to even do the headshot. One hundred percent critical. Kill it. We are still in huge trouble though. Don't be fooled. I myself am one shot away from death. This guy is on overwatch. The civilian is there. Donaldson here is... What is this in move range? Can we move here and shoot it? We can try that. We will try that. Actually. And that might... She will draw the overwatch fire. Don't die. Please don't die. Missed that. Ooh, that is a hit, but not a kill. We can't do that again. <laughs> Return fire. 53%. Come on, we have to count on this 53%. Do it. Damn it. Okay, our man Lorenzo is going to run all the way over here. Just, you know, we don't want him to die either. And our man, the civilian, is going to run like his life depends on it also, because it does. He can only get as far as he... He does need to hide behind these trucks. Oh shit. Oh, look out. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it. So, Donaldson is dead. Sniper is still sniping, still covering the retreat. We shall not give up before, before we have to give up. We can run to the back of this truck. Is this half cover? Shit, that is not. We need more than half cover. Still, we have no choice. We have to run there. Come on. We. <clears throat> I am also going to run back. I'm, we, we can't stand our ground against all these thin men. I'm sorry civilian, but you're sort of on your own on that. We will cover your retreat with sniper rifle fire, but that's all we can do, really. Oh, don't be on overwatch. Okay, that's the VIP out of it. That's sectoids. That's more thin man. Hell, it'll be it'll be exciting to see if we can even make it to the evac zone. Oh damn it! Oh, they just all come in now. There's no way we could have done this. I hate this mission. Next, if there is a next game, I'm going to I'm going to decline the mission. We can't do it. 
the good news is that if we can do this, we will make it. And much as I like my own name, the sniper is more important than the mech. So you are going to go first and draw over fire. Watch fire, come on, go for it. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Damn it, we lost the VIP, we lost two of our squaddies. But we are still two people alive. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Abort the mission. Yes, it's a grim day. Did kill five aliens, but that's still a terrible result, apparently. And hopefully... Hopefully... We can make something happen with the rookies. This mission is so hard. It's a little bit out of step with the rest of the game, maybe. Oh, oh yeah, Donaldson and Murray got promotions. Well, they're dead. Urban Combat Badge. Operation Fallen Apollo. Yeah. We will be in touch, Commander. Nasty stuff. Right, a few soldiers. We have now this is this is a problem. We have two awesome soldiers, sort of. One one really awesome soldier and one cyborg that isn't dreadfully capable of doing anything. So we need we need to train up the rookies, that's all there is to it. Nothing else we can do. We will have Carapaz armor sorta of soon. And we also have satellites sorta of soon. So not all is lost. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. Satellite prepped and standing by for launch. Order. That is good. Satellite uplink facilities Oh, we need the capacity. uplink. That is oh, that is being built as well. Two more days. Satellite, satellite uplink complete. available. Launching satellites. And they are gonna go to Egypt. Egypt first. Oh. Satellite launched. Egypt is terrible. Um, we might have to add another interceptor as well to the Egypt. To the Egypt. Um, Squadron, because once we we need to protect that. Because once we we've ha once we have that um, to the Africa thing, yeah. Once we have that, then we get more cash because we've got all three of them. So and that will happen in just another few days. And we can spend some money on Carapaz armor for the rookies. Not all is lost. Contact detected. We shall see if not all is lost. Because the last UFO mission was pretty hard. Rambling interceptors. Ready. Go. Engaging bogey. <clears throat> Engaging the bogey. Good luck. We need rookies to train up and then they can be MECs. Because we still have one broken MEC thing, and a, uh, an MEC is better than a squaddy. So we can, for maybe if we got some melt, we can go full cyborg. But that is that smells of desperation. For now, though, let's see about. Oh man, that face is so mean. Let's see about sniping and grenading everything in sight. Actually, grenading? No, no, no. Because the grenades do 3 damage and most of the things have way more hit points, so they don't really work out as a guaranteed hit. We're gonna go for... Wait, we're gonna f we can select rookies that have high aim. Let's clear that out. Make items available. Yes, yes, yes. Um, clear that out. And f let's find a rookie that has... Ah, oh, shit, you can't see a list. 65. Fifty-five. We need aim. Fifty-five. Verhoeven at sixty-five. I don't know what it is with this game, but I get only women soldiers. So far, they're doing great, though. Lisa Cook has seventy aim. That's good enough for my book. Let's have a look at that nanofiber vest. Awesome. We have Johannes Hendricks, sixty aim. Schmidt. 65, that's the same as Verhoeven. 
We have Thompson. Ooh, it was a Thompson that got the max suit. 60. So we're gonna go for Verhoeven. And she will get a. She will get a nanofiber vest, but I have to sort of build one. Oh, she will get a grenade. Oh, she will get. Right, she'll get the grenade. This might very well be a make or break point. If we don't make this mission, we might be in trouble. And I'm 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 pretty divided on the on the kinetic stomper. It's a really good close up. It'll basically one shot everything. But to get close up, I mean, you have to take the hits and tough as it is as it is, two or three hits and you're down. So that is difficult. So while the Scar Ranger flies, let me welcome the new reviewers on the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are playing XCOM Enemy Within, classic Iron Man game, and it we are we were off to a great start, but now things are starting to fall apart as the alien pressure mounts. Um, if you like that, for sure, uh, keep on watching, and also check out my YouTube channel under the video you're currently watching. It's the old school television icon, and I mostly play Kerbal Space Program on that, but also some XCOM and. There's all sorts of good stuff going on. Anyway, for now, we're hunting UFOs. We have an awesome sniper, two rookies, and a scary mech warrior. I'm going to send the rookies in. I'm gonna s I'm, I think I'm going to want to have my sniper around here. A little bit of high ground. And I'm going to send my rookies in to scope it out. No aliens, no contact yet. It might have been smarter to send in the mech, actually, because that's tough as nails. Then again, every hit point counts because our medic has died, and so we can't regenerate anything. So there's some melt. We need melt now. It's important because it will allow us to make more mech suits, which I think might be the only thing standing between this planet and alien domination. So sniper can hide behind the tree there, and we'll do one overwatch with the pistol, and then... Save us time and time again with awesome sniper sights. Overwatch, always scary to do with rookies because their aim is generally not so good. Nor do, do they have any special skills, but then again we do kind of need their bullets. So, let's proceed to the corner here. For now we are not in a desperate rush yet, yeah, just a regular rush. On it, Rookies will proceed to the top here, where they shall hunker down. Or something like that. Yeah, this is, seems yeah, like a good spot. And uh, do I want my sniper to be here, or do I want it to be here, where the mech is currently standing? We are going to continue fighting this way. I might want to bring her up to this point, but I will do so next turn. Overwatch advanced fire control. Oh, I meant to have them hunker down, but uh, that didn't quite work out that way. If there's any aliens that are going to show up, I mean, these UFOs, they do tend to have tentacle guys, and for them you want the squad to stick together. Because if they strangle one, it's not that big a deal, it's two hit points, but you do have to shoot them off. Well, if there's no one close, that doesn't happen. Might want to hide them here. Here. I mean, if they come, the the thingy, the directionator, pointed that way. I think I want my sniper here on top. It's not the best cover, but if they're way in the back, then distance also sort of works like a cover. Rookie is going to run for the meld. Might be a massive mistake, but we need that for the future. And for Hooven, our grenading rookie, is going to take cover okay, up here. So far, no alien contacts, so we can feel good about the mission. We'll do some overwatch and see how that how that evolves going into the future. We have aliens coming online. No, not yet. Switch back to sniper. And of course, let's not forget to actually grab the meld. Might want to move my sniper up here, 
so I can cover the interior of the UFO once we get there, but maybe that's premature thing. Okay. Rookie okay, can move up there. That's a nice place for so where that's a nice place to hide. Other rookie can move up here. Okay, it's I'm half cover, but we can hunker down. And the MEC stand here and provide support for Mr. Sniper that is going to not mess around and just run here yes, so next sir. turn we can enter the UFO yeah the full cover is all destructible that is real shit but I don't think the melt thing is and we just have to destroy everything before they do maybe I think I'm gonna going to have the MEC lead into the into the UFO, or maybe not lead, but the rookie can open the door. Oh shit! That's one square out of reach. That's that's a bummer. Other rookie gets to go here, full cover, facing the UFO. Okay, there we have some targets. Oh no, we have the outsider. We do still have full sniper coverage. What's our MEC like? Because he is got has got to do the stomping. And that's bad. Because it's basically the rookie on her own again on this front. And that's not great, really, because all these guys are gonna start shooting at her. If they don't if they don't hit her outright, they will destroy the cover. Which is bad enough in and of itself. So I might have to have her flee. What do we have? We have the outsider over here. We have thin men over here, which are deadly, but they're still a, a, a bit away. This cover works fine. Sniper, can, what can you do for us? We can hit the thin man. Let's do so. Let's kill it. Ah, oh, we can hit it, but not kill it. Damn it, that was, that was ridiculously bad. I didn't go for the the headshot because I thought four damage is all but guaranteed on a sniper rifle but apparently I was completely wrong what we can do is shoot out the wall shoot out the wall oh, we would have to move up a little bit we can shoot out the wall and then open up with a grenade and a, f a barrage from this that would leave us open to two thin men or I could run this away here to hope and live which is reasonable from this distance I mean it's it's not at all guaranteed but it, we could live then again this cover is almost the same as long as it doesn't get destroyed yeah on XMR in chat the collateral damage from the MEC would destroy the ship wa ship wall I think problem is if I do that the MEC will be will be around here. That's actually not that big a deal because it will be far away, and it's going to be out in the open anyway. It will deplete the rifle, but it's not that accurate with it anyway. And then I can run in and assault stomp the rest. Let's try that. Can I do that from here? Yeah, sort of, but not reliably. So I'm going to move. This is closer, yeah. I'm going to move here and be a little bit closer to it. Right. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I just not do it? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, here it goes. Pray and pray. Okay, four damage needs to be done on the outsider. 68% with 60% critical or 3 guaranteed damage from the grenade from here we got 60% with a 60% critical is that a chance we are comfortable with? I say it is we shall have the rookie fire first I mean we're a little bit desperate anyway so there it goes come on rookie make it count damn it okay then you make it count Oh damn it. 
We're just shooting the UFO. Oh shit, I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch. I'm watching. Oh, he does the poison? I mean, yes, it will damage, but... That could be the saving grace. Oh, I'm not gonna watch. Suppress! Oh, why are they being so awesome? Oh, there's still this one. Oh, shit. He gets poisoned! That's hilarious. No! No, damn it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so that's panicking rookie. Right. Right, alright. We have to do something. Okay, we definitely don't need a critical hit on the thin man. We can't do shit because... Oh, we can. I mean, we're gonna expose ourselves to the thin man, but first we're gonna be awesome. We're gonna save our panicking rookie. Who needs assault rifles when you have kinetic strike potential? Now, I need to do this right so the rookie doesn't actually die. Does this do 12 damage to the rookie? I think it doesn't. I mean, come on. He's not gonna hit the rookie. Come on, go for it. Yes! Ah, <laughs> nice! Right, now... Sniper, don't let me down. Kill this thin man. Oh yeah, that looks good. Boom, got it. Finish the job. Oh, there's some more. Oh shit, I was so happy. Maybe that was premature. Oh, there's the rookie who got, that got saved so heroically. Shit. Okay, we have 89% to hit. 69% to hit. Yeah, we're gonna go for the other one. We still don't need a critical on this because, I mean, there's no way a sniper rifle is gonna do one or two damage, right? Go. Thank you, sniper. Now, our mech assault warrior isn't gonna do jack because there's no bullets in his gun. So he's gonna run here and reload. And then next turn, we can either fire at something or stomp it. Oh, come on, come on. No. Oh, don't be a bitch. I mean, this is dangerous. <laughs> can we do something about that? We cannot, in fact. Can we? Can we? Can we remove the cover? I mean, it will leave the sectoids out there, but frankly, I'm not afraid of sectoids. Yeah, we're going to collateral damage, remove this cover, so that the sniper shot will have a better chance. I'm not afraid of the sectoids, not that much at any rate. Boom, kill that. Ooh, and then we have to reload as well. Oh, god damn it, only 68%. Alright, then go for it. Don't miss. Well done, headshot. Yeah, it's what I did. Uh, I, I, I did it, but it didn't work out. The cover went. Yeah, sector, it's 3 damage. What are you gonna do? Uh, the cover went. Everyone fired, everyone missed. So. That, that didn't work out so well. We are now once again left with a sniper and a mech suit. The promoting of Rukas is not so far working out, not working out great. Locked and, loaded. and we are sort of forced to do the kinetic assault thing again, which is not that bad because it's good. And let's do that from here. Kinetic strike on that. Get lost, punk. Everything by the number. Oh, that was that. So we only lost rookies, which is not nice, but mm, our good guys pulled through. 
And we got more melt, so we can make more robots. And we probably got a promotion, maybe. Because there was a lot of awesome sniping going on. But damn it, we need those rookies alive. To become squaddies to become robots. No, one was expecting this. no promotions. Was some of our best. I wish there was more we could have done. Urban comp. Oh, yeah, we... we Oh, we have money. We have money now for the grey market. 50. It's 155. Medals. Commander, we've suffered a number of casualties and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring Plus 5 defense. Let's give that. Well, no, he can't get in cover. That's silly. Let's give that to him. And... Yeah, shit. We need we need to promote rookies, man. We need 200 for the for the big power facility, but we also need some soldiers. I mean, do we really? We can if we no. We need we need some soldiers because if we were to f suffer a full squad wipe, let's hire three soldiers. I mean. Damn it! Most of the missions are going fine, but there's just no improvement in the in the guys. They're, the the cool guys steal all the kills. The rookies get blown apart. There's no progression in this military. It's not great. Right. Assign new research. We have better armors at any rate. Let's build them. Some and UFO power source. Better fighters. We will. Also better MECs, better incoming UFO attack, experimental warfare, weapon fragments, that will give, give us a scope for more accuracy, Dino biology, let's get that. Then we can also get autopsies and stuff and that is possibly nice. Let's get that. New soldiers, xenobiology, more satellites. That's nice because then shortly afterwards we will get the council report, which will give us money. Satellite. Commander, the council is requesting, the council is our, requesting our presence. What's happening now? now? Member of the Triad criminal organization has reached out to one of our two contacts. Although we have little interest in the man himself, he allegedly has in his possession a piece of unique technology. We need you to investigate. We will transmit further details to Central. Wow, if we get this. Get scientists, engineers, and 200 bucks. Friends in low places, and I have no idea what this mission is about, but hopefully it's a nice opportunity to oh to promote some rookies. But what I was forgetting is to build carapace armor. We need to do that. Carapace armor. Let's build three of those. Boom. Let's do that mission. Hope it's not against too difficult of aliens and that we can promote some rookies. And we will immediately turn them into robots. I mean, Excellent. yeah. There's just so much better than squaddies. But we'll not tell them that just yet. Load out. Carapace armor. Yeah. Body armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger. Lighter and stronger, that's great. And the vest. We need all the hit points we can get. I mean, these guys. Also, carapace armor. Carapace armor. And a grenade. Alright then. Lieutenant Grise, Wolf, and Corporal Lorenzo training Rookie Sutherland and Krishnan. Here we go. New soldiers on site, three. So if the rookies die, there's repla the replacements there. Begin the assault. We're Escort the China VIP the and the alien artifact to the extraction point. Aliens may, be an, may make an effort to recover it. Right. Ooh. <laughs> you must be my contacts. 
No one who fears reprisal would make an entrance like that. Not so different from killing a man. It won't take long for them to realize I'm missing. Especially since I've got this thing with me. If you take me with you, it's all yours. All right, then we'll just That's pretend that we're all like pros. Package with him. We'll need to get him back to the extraction point in one piece. Oh, it's the extraction the point here. There's no Sky Rangers. We'll be looking for him. New objective received. Okay, this looks like a terrible mission. Just have to take it slow and steady through the graveyard. We'll go here to the side. There's full cover here. Yeah, we'll go, we're going to hug the side of the map. Yeah, we're gonna hug that side of the map. Sniper fire from here. That's going to be a challenge because the sniper, of course, has to, has to come along as well. But we want him to stay behind so he can take shots. I'm on it, Commander. That's a bit of a problem. Krishnan. In our MEC will cover the sniper. Rookie Krishnan. They cover here. Where's our VA, VA, VIP? Oh, that's still a, even though he was a big bad criminal boss in the in the cutscene, he's he's not that bad. Not that big and bad. So they get to go over. Moving to position. Oh, I don't want to lose the VIP. I'm not sure where my boss got this thing, but he was taking offers from a variety of bidders. All right, overwatching time. Their intentions. Aye, aye. I hope this isn't such a bitch mission as the other one. Arigato. Arigato. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. <laughs> Ooh, it's Thin Man Day. Oh, that's not a good spot to be for that Thin Man. <laughs> he died good. All right then. Let's switch to the sniper rifle and blast that thin man to kingdom come. Or that could be a nice guaranteed kill for a grenading rookie. That's too far, I think. And yeah, and he's on Overwatch, so that's not real good. We can give the rookie a shot. If he makes it, that's good for him. We need to give them promotions. Boom, well done, rookie. We're going to spend another turn on Overwatch just to see what they come up with. I think so. Affirmative, covering now. The job itself seemed trivial. Delivering equipment to a predetermined drop point. Right, so I don't think there's any more Thin Man in the map. Reload the MEC. And that means we're going to do another round of overwatches because I want everyone in full fighting position before we move any further. Once I saw this device, because we're not in full fighting shape, we need to be careful. Right, sniper can stay. MEC gets to move all the way over here. Seems like a safe spot to be so far. I can go here. And I forgot you in the reloading scheme. Damn it. And you can go here. And this is the, the boundary, isn't it? But these guys are going to fall from the sky, so... I've crossed many lines during my life. There isn't really any but guarantee of a, a direction enemy. that's safe. So Roger, let's do more it. Overwatch. The MEC is a little bit out of, out of position. I don't like that. Covering now. Right. 
proceed this way. Heading to that location. The, most of the map is over there, so most of the fire and problems will come from there as well, I think. Oh. Let's have the civilian go first. Run to this cover. Then we can have our friend... Friend, this rookie move over here. I'm not sure that's a good spot to be. But we'll deal with it. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Massive Overwatch for everyone. Overwatch, aye aye. Alright, we shall begin again with the sniper. Shall so move it all the way here. If something then happens, we have the whole squad to fix it. Already there. Fingers crossed. Okay, once more. And to the Lock reach. MEC is going to take two take cover for the sniper as usual. Our civilian. I kinda took up all the nice cover spots for him, didn't I? Not that bait. Is he gonna stay here for the time being? That means you are going to stay here for the time being as well. His life is your life. And the rest will overwatch up on there. I'm so scared. I'm, it could be one thin man. Enemy forces heading it my way. Let's see what they come up with. Oh, they land in dangerous positions for themselves. So, let's see what the rookies do with that guy. They miss him, of course. I am sort of confident that we can shoot to kill that. Although that's a surprisingly low number to to hit. I mean, 53%. Then we have this guy. This guy has 55%. And the other thin man. Can we snipe that? No, we can only hit that one. The other thin man is on this area. So we need to make sure everything has cover from that direction. That's... Basically all we can do now. We can move to we can move to kinetic stomp, but that will trigger his Overwatch. So that will be our our contingency plan. Hey rule, um, you're the amazing sniper. That happened. Um, everything is sort of okay. We failed one mission, the one with all the thin men, but we got two guys out. What we have now as a situation is that. Me, Lorenzo, the, the MEC, is the big guy. You, Rule, the sniper, is the big guy. And that's all we have. The rest is rookies. So we're trying to train up rookies and make something happen with that. In the meantime, what I was saying is that uh, the MEC will be our contingency plan. In that if all these guys fail to kill the Thin Man, he will run in, eat the Overwatch shot, and kinetic punch him to death. We will start with the rookie so that they may gain experience. Shall start with this one. Kill it. Adjusting sight. Come on, kill it. Well done. I think I'm gonna run the civilian. No, if I run him through the poison he will get poisoned. And the Thin Man might get a reaction shot off, which we don't want. So, civilian, put your head down. Overwatch on this. I've got my eyes on. And also overwatch on that. Come on, come on out if you dare. Oh shit, that's so close! Whoa! Look out, man! That is so dangerous. Is our contingency plan any good? No, it's not. It's rubbish. But can we snipe it? We can actually not snipe it, so that's not great. We can stomp move our way over here and flank shoot it. Let's try that. That's 80% with a 60 critical. I'm just gonna take that now. Come on, shoot it down. Boom, gone. Right, we need space for the VIP. So, Rookie Sutherland, 
You get to move up here. Hope you're not squeamish. You're gonna take cover on the grave. Oh no, this is the this is our sniper man. Sniper man woman is gonna stay over there. Rookie Sutherland is gonna move up. Mo gonna move up in life. Gonna go over That's here actually. Not moving up too far, but we need to take things slow and we need to consider a reload a reloading scheme. So let's move here. Get over there. You need to take some cover again, like right here. Reload your rifle. You also need to reload your rifle. You need to guard everyone with your overwatch. So that's four thin men down. Hostile forces about to hit your position. Oh, so they're coming again. Please snipe that. Or we can we can just kinetic stomp that if we can't snipe it. Rise Wolf takes a reaction shot. Make it count. Don't kill me. Boom, that's one thin man down. Well done. Good shot. That means we can probably just kill that one straight dead. So we have a sniper that has a decent chance to kill it. We can kinetic stomp it, that's a guaranteed kill, but it will elicit the reaction shot, which will probably crit from this distance, which would be devastating. We have a 61% chance to hit it from here, which is alright, but not great, and that would cost us our contingency. Sutherland, 35%, not great, not great. But we could grenade to take some hit points off and get rid of the cover. 30, double 35% on the rookies, then we have a 68% on the sniper, and then we have a guaranteed but bloody kill by the mech. Or we have a not guaranteed but another 61% shot. Everyone is in cover except the MEC. I'm just going to open fire. Starting with the rookies to give them a shot, obviously. Go. Two damage from that. So, was that the rookie with the grenade? Yeah. So, 35%. Do it. Didn't do it. Damn it. Damn it, indeed. Right, sniper it. Well, two damage will be guaranteed, so... Kill it. Kill it with sniper bullets. Well done. No longer a threat. So that's two kills on the sniper for just this one turn. Amazing. Um, let's make that reloading session again because these two are now gone. Head down for you. I wonder if they just keep coming until I reach the evac zone because if that's the case I need to need to start making some progress. Let's Let's work on that. Let's work on that. Let's bite the bullet and run here. That's progress. Once again, bite the bullet and move here. No, we need to reload. Reload, and then if this advance turns sour, we can at least fire some sniper rounds that way. Alright. Two rookies get to bite the bullets and move up, but they will be guarded by... The, M the faithful MEC. Overwatching. Yeah, rule. That's a problem with the the resolution because I'm not awesome and popular enough with Twitch. They can only do a direct throughput, and I'm currently streaming at 1080p. I could lower the resolution, but that would lower it for everyone, uh, and also lower it for. Uh, the subsequent YouTube qualities. We can have a look. Maybe I can make it like 720. That that should be a decent compromise. Um, so the stream will go offline for uh, a few seconds while I mess with the settings, and then we'll see how that works for everyone. So I'll be right back. 